Hey, brothers and sisters and friends, it is May 24th, 2016, and I just pray that everybody is doing well, that they are being blessed, and that they are given the strength and the perseverance to just keep running this race. It is tough, you know, we're coming down to the very last stretch. Let's keep going. Let's, let's sprint, you know what I mean? Let's sprint. Um, but anyway, I wanted to come on here really quick and I was with my sister Natalie today and her and I planned this last night to go to the gas station, to go up to Wawa and, uh, do a Bible study. And, you know, she was talking to me about a girl that she sees every day and she knows like the Holy Spirit revealed to her that, uh, th this woman is prostituting herself. You know, and you can like just, you know, God will expose things. So she was sharing with me that she sees this woman like every day for the past week or so, like every single day she, they, she, this woman runs across her path. And I was like, really? I'm like, wow, that, that's interesting. Like God is showing you someone specifically for a purpose and she's like yeah yeah I know I know but I don't know like I don't know how to come across and I said you know I feel you me neither uh, unless I have a track or if I have I need I need to have something in my hand to to go give to to someone to bring up um, a conversation you know and God knows that he knows that so we have our Bible study and this man walks up after 30 minutes, he got there. He was there, and he was walking out to his car, and he had two tracks in his hand, and he gave them to us. And I'm like, okay, thank you. You know, and I'm thinking to myself, who does that? I mean, why would you, you, you see, we have, like, we're having a Bible study here. Why would this man hand us two tracks? That's interesting. Like, normally, you would give that to people who are actually not, um, who don't know the Lord, you know, who, who are not saved. And I'm like, I'm saved. I know where I'm going. I am covered by the blood. Like I, I know who my God is. I, I know Jesus and, um, you know, her too, not Natalie too. And I was like, Hmm. And so her and I came to agreement, like, well, maybe this is not for us. Maybe the Lord gave, you know, use this man to give us these things to give to someone. I'm like, yeah, you know, you're right, you're right. <laughs> so after our Bible study, uh, we ended up on the way home. And this woman that my friend was talking about walked our path. She walked right in front of us. And she was like, that's her, that's her. And I look at her and she looks at me and then that was it. And I was like, oh man, I'm like, okay, what are the odds that this woman crosses our path at the same time? That's God. And I'm like, okay, okay. So we're like, we're like, what do we do? Should we turn around? Should we keep going? Uh, what do you do? Oh, well, she's probably far down the street. Oh my God. What am I going to do? What am I going to chase after her? Oh Lord, what am I going to do? <laughs> you know, so that's like going on. And I was like, see, I don't know. I can't just walk up to her. You know, I got to have a track. <laughs> oh my. Goodness, the track was for her. Now, the Lord just gave me orders, the Lord just gave me directions. Now, it's my choice to be obedient and give it to this woman or let it slip through my fingers. Now, I have to turn around. Now, we gotta go because I have a track. God provides. He is our provider. <laughs> so we turn around. And she ended up crossing uh, up to another gas station. And we turned in, into that gas station. And I said, okay, I'm going to go. And I jumped out of the car. And I, you know, ran over to this girl. And she stopped. And I don't know. I can't tell you word for word what I said, because in the moment when you are 
are in connection, when you are speaking to someone that God has placed in front of you for him to help, the Holy Spirit just takes over. And so, I mean, it, it, it flowed like water, you know, it flowed. And um, all I know was that this woman was receiving what I was saying. You know, I told her I was in that lifestyle. And I just want you to know that Jesus loves you. It doesn't matter how deep and dark of a place and of sin that you are in. But he loves you and he can deliver you. He can set you free. Because he did it for me. I am a living testimony. I was in that lifestyle. I was on the street, you know. I asked if she was working and she like looked around like, you know, hinting what she was doing, which she doesn't need to tell me. I can tell. I know. And I said, it's okay. I, I know. I understand. And I'm like, well, God can bring you out of that. And even though you're doing that, you know, he still loves you. And I just want you to know that since, you know, I have surrendered my life to the Lord. And I kept telling her, Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer. And I kept telling her that. And this woman was trying to hold back tears. And she was receiving what I was seeing. And she took the track. And I gave her this biggest hug and just held her. And I said, you know, I was in fear of getting clean. I was in fear of turning my life around. I didn't know where to begin. I didn't know where to start. But it, it took trust in God. It took that moment when everything was gone and taken from me. And, you know, I was going to die and I was going to go to hell. And the Lord saved me for a reason. He saved me for a purpose. And what he did for me, I know that he can do for you. You know, I said, the high that I can get from God is so much better than any shot of heroin, than any hit of crack, than any ecstasy pill. And it was like this woman, the words that were coming out of my mouth, it was like she was receiving it and she could understand. And... She said that, uh, I said, can I pray for you? Is there something specifically you would like prayer for? And, you know, she held back. She said, no, but I know deep down that she needs the prayer. And I'm going to continue to pray for this woman. And um, the Lord, and, but she said that she knows, you know, she has, uh, she has a relationship with God. Like she knows who, who God is. And, which is interesting because most of the time the people who know the Lord are the ones who are really crying help inside in their spirit because they're stuck in a bondage so deep that they cannot get out of. And they just need that seed being planted in them, that hope, that one little bit of hope, that one message that somebody can bring to lighten up their life to show them that Jesus loves them no matter how deep of a sin that they are in that God knows and he can bring you out of it that Jesus is the answer and this woman received it and I said I was there you know I I was a believer and I prayed every night for God to guide me and you know, he did. He, he guided me and I got clean and it, you know, it took years for me to, to surrender and to trust that, you know, who the person that I would become, but I got tired of that life and I just kept encouraging her that Jesus loves her and that Jesus is the answer. And, you know, maybe there's someone that is watching this or knows somebody who is addicted and who is, um, you know, selling their self for drugs and who is in just that lifestyle or even is just stuck in sin and just doing the wrong things, you know? 
Our God is a forgiving God. He is a merciful Father, and He loves us. He wants the best for us. You know, He is not one to condemn us. That comes from the enemy. So when if you have backslidden, and that you have shame and guilt. Don't feed that. Don't feed into those lies that the enemy can use to break you down and to steal your joy, to steal what God has built and put inside of you. You know, just focus on Jesus. Focus on the Lord. Read the Word of God because in the Word of God, it is the water that cleanses us. It's the food that nourishes our spirit. It brings life into our life. It brings life into our life. Otherwise, we're just a walking dead body, you know, and walking like the world when we need that God's guidance to guide us, to lead us, to teach us, to comfort us. You know, the Holy Spirit is our comforter. He, he is there always. And even when we're in that sin, just cry out, truly cry out from your heart. And God will bring you out of it. You know, there is hope and he is our re restoration and our redeemer. He will deliver us from those chains that keep us bound. If you trust in him. And that's what it took. It took me to trust in him. And it was just a blessing to be used in that way. That God had this day orchestrated for his glory. He knew what he was doing since before time and he still knows what he is doing so no matter how bad your life looks no matter how bad your problems look no matter how bad the your, the situation looks look up look farther look past that and see a god that is there to restore it to redeem you to save you and to trust in him so I love you all so much, and I pray that you receive this message and uh, to stand with me to lift up this woman. In Jesus' name, amen.